Here we are on Friday at noon, and it's time to check out, just about. We're getting to that point. So, I got in here, what, Tuesday, Tuesday night evening. to Wednesday night to Thursday night, 48, 49, 50. So 60 hours ago is when exactly when I got through. And look at this. That's with her new hip. I couldn't have done that 12 hours ago. Well, 12 hours ago, I tried to do it, but I sobbed through it, so. And this is with pain medication in her, but the fact is this. The fact is this, and that is that it's her new hip. It's her new hip that's made all the difference. I don't, I, I'm not really a good medicated person <laughs> because I don't know who I am. She's on two Percocet right now. Feels kind of like a roller coaster, and I can't hear. What? I, but anyway, let's put my shoes on. See how I do with my shoes. I bet I'll be so happy. Oh yeah. Okay. This morning, the lady. Say again. One of the physical therapists said, "Just don't push yourself too hard. You know, just be smart." But I think what's going to happen is you just, every day it gets better, you know? Yeah. Because not being sobbing, laying over my bed. And I have to tell you, sweetheart, I couldn't have done any of this without you. I, honestly, for you rubbing my leg in the middle of the night with a deep blue and... And every time I had to sit up, because you couldn't sit up, I'd have to roll over and then kind of get like, it's at a 45 degree angle or something. There's something, yeah. Flip my leg over, and so many months and weeks of that. And so, thank you. Because <laughs> I love you. That's I know, why. but it's hard to have to have somebody do that. And I think people, yeah. I told Stacy, I said, yeah, it's nice to do things for people, but after a while, it's like, really? And so, no. and it got to the point where it was really every time around the clock. Well, those days are, are behind us now, and we're doing nothing but getting better. Oh, so. I love you. Thank you. I love you, too, sweetheart. I love <laughs> you. Hey, look, we're in the car. We got in the car. Now we're going home with a brand new hip. Yep. Yeah. Here we go. You ready to go home? Yeah, let's go. It's All freezing right. out there. First night home. First night home. Oh, I 72 hours, 71 oh, hours ago, I got into my room from the hospital. Yep. Here we go. Night one at home. Let's go. Hi, did your mommy come home? You come home to play? I love you. I love you. Hello, sweet baby. How, how are you feeling going all over the so, ship? So, this obviously is not about the hip, but I'm six weeks and one day on hip replacement surgery. You've watched all of that and how much pain I was in before. And look at these stairs. I'm so blessed that I'm able to. Look how steep they are. And not only have I been able to, I have to kind of sit down to start to go, but I'm able to do it and then going up. Today, for the first time, I'm doing leg, I mean, foot after foot after foot. So here's the moral of the story. If you've got hip trouble, don't hesitate. Get it taken care of because you can live life again. You saw me before. It's not worth it. You don't have to be in that much pain. I'm able to do things. I can't sit on the floor with a little kids yet, but to be able to do this cruise with Brian today and be able to navigate these stairs a few, two days ago I called and they said I can't do it, just leave me home and all of you guys go have fun and I feel so blessed, I mean this truly is six weeks and one day after surgery I have no walker, have my staples out, I mean I'm surely going to pay for it tonight but I'll tell you, it's absolutely remarkable how grateful I am to have it taken care of. Thank you.
I think this will be our last post about the hip replacement surgery. But the whole point of doing this video was to let you see because I looked online and I thought, what can I or can't I do for the rest of my life? So seven weeks and one day exactly. I mean, it's not a big deal, but to me it was. I just did those rocks. I'm walking on the sand and look, if those of you guys that saw me before, I mean, like remember before you saw me in pictures like this, just like my 90 year old dad would walk with his bad back. But I'm even doing sand. And I had a friend who just went skiing and he was four and a half months out of hip replacement surgery. He was skiing this last weekend. So, you know, I mean, it was scary. You'll know from the first of this video, I was terrified. I didn't like the idea of somebody sawing something off and hammering something in me. But I will tell you, if I had to do it over, I'd pray never have to do it over again. But you get a wise surgeon and one that's you know up to date on the newest devices and everything it can change your life i mean six months ago you wouldn't have seen me walking on this i couldn't have i was in too much pain i i was in such incredible pain i just did rocks i mean that's crazy so i think this will be the end of our saga but lynn rasmussen an incredible doctor thank you the staff was amazing the support team was amazing my husband my children were absolutely amazing from picking my leg up and putting it into bed and on percocet i'd forget to breathe so we do oxygen at night i mean everybody made it a team effort to help me you know and this is what seven weeks one day after i'm at the beach climbing on rocks